Workout number two for those that are at work or working from home more so. We are going to use a 30 second principle with every single movement that we do. We're going to use seven different movements in rotation. At the end of those seven movements, I want you to take a one minute break, get some water, wipe yourself down, drop back in, rotate on those seven movements again for 30 seconds on each. Here we go. First thing first, squat boys. We generally start with feet shoulder width apart. What I want you to do is take your shoe length out, turn your toes out a little bit, drop down in front, and imagine this time frame is 30 seconds. So I'm going to, be able to demo that to yourself. Good little principle, right through your heels, knees, hips, shoes, all in alignment with one another. Your eyes are forward, your back's as straight as possible. We don't want to be tilted it forward as we go down. Good little indicator if you feel that you're tilting forward is to keep your eyes towards the ceiling and that'll keep your back nice and straight. I want you to get down to a 90 degree angle on your knee joint, hip joint, coming back up, squeeze your glutes at the top. That will be your first movement. Second movement, I've got a mat here. You can use your carpet at home, the floor at home, whatever it may be. We lay down, crunch wide, arms up into the air. The space between your chin and your chest is the size of a rolled up fist. Why do I do that? Because I don't want to leave with my neck and end up with a sore neck. My eyes are towards the ceiling, I lift my shoulders up, I squeeze and engage my core, I come back down again. My shoulders are flat. The space between my chin and my chest remains the same. Now, if you want to turn your head forward and lift and come back down, as long as my eyes stay in the same position throughout that movement, we don't want to get into a position where we're constantly coming up and down like this. We flip over. We've done our 30 seconds there, second exercise. Third one, push-up. Beginner's push-up, legs are crossed over, drop down. Use your knees to transition down. Get as far as you feel you can. Suck your belly button towards your spine. That's the first transition. Here's the next progression. From your knees to your hips, body straight, drop it down, press back out. Drop it down, my eyes are down towards the ground, my core's engaged, my elbows and my palms are directly underneath my shoulder. For those that are strong enough and fit enough, normal push-ups, arms underneath, just drop chest to the ground, nice balance throughout the press, down, press back out. That's your third movement. Let's go into your floor. Move your head out of the way into your lunge. Now, lunge wide, feet shoulder width apart. Once I step out, I maintain that distance my hips, shoe and knees stop and drop into alignment. If you're learning this movement, a good way to do that is to start forward and drop backwards as such. And the reason why you do that, I'll show you that side on, is so that your front knee never ends up past your front toe. So essentially by dropping back, I create a nice 90 degree angle on my knee joint, hip joint, my upper body from my shoulder down to my glutes is straight and the lift essentially is going straight up, straight down. Now you can do a static lunge and I'd recommend this to yourself. You can hang on to something here or a pole here as an example, maybe it's a chair, table, and we're going up and down on that one spot. 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other. That makes for five movements. Your next one is a walkout. Feet are out, quite wide, bit of a stretch out. Coming down, coming to camera, hold that position. Now, once you're in that hold, eyes towards the ground, not up like this, unless your back arches out, like so. So as we get down, if you're in a position where we're like this, lift your head up, your spine will straighten out. Walk back up, squeeze your glutes, back into that position, set, coming back up, hold. Last one for today, 30 seconds on the spot, knees as high as you can, running as fast as you can. You run those seven movements through rotation and you've got yourself a bad boy workout. Much love, peace out.